based on time of the year, most of us are going through budget planning for fiscal 25. And the technology budget is always something that is scrutinized. Any thoughts on what people should be thinking about related to their technology going into budget planning this year? The first thing is, what you said before, looking at what you have now, what, where can you clean house? What can you get rid of that you don't need or that you have two of? Somebody, sometimes I'll talk to a company and they'll have HubSpot and Zoho. And I'm like, why do you have two CRMs? It doesn't make sense. And they don't realize that they both do the same thing or could do the same thing. So it's not one is bad or one is better. It's just, why do you have both? So I think looking at what you already have and taking inventory of that will help determine what you might be able to free up in terms of money for the budget for the next year. And then I think the second thing is outlining what are the goals for the business? There's marketing goals, there's business goals, there's all different aspects. Maybe you're moving and there's other things that expenses that are going on, but where's the business going to be a year from now or six months from now? And I think if you have a good framework for that and you have an understanding, then you could figure out what you need in terms of technology. And I'll give just a simple example. At Cultivize, we started a brand new social, which your listeners will give it out a little later, but a brand new social media strategy at the end of last year. And so as a result of that, we needed new technology to manage all of that social content and the reporting that we didn't have in place before because we didn't need it, right? That technology was a necessity because of the marketing strategy. It's not that we had said, oh, we need this technology first. What are we going to do with it? So it came as a result of some other planning for the business. If you are looking at any new technology, looking to see what type of integrations are available. And so one quick way to do that is to go to a website called Zapier, where you can do a search for software. You have thousands of pieces of software in that ecosystem. It's a very simple, inexpensive tool to connect one piece of software to another. And so that's a starting ground, at least, to say, okay, if it's part of Zapier, then I have a pretty good feeling that I'm going to be able to use this tool and connect it to other things that I might have.